Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we are returning to Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord, where we are playing as Brian. So, Brian is an upstart noble, and he has just gotten himself a task to accompany a couple of cattlemen over here to the city of Alantas, where one of the uh, peasants in Halliswust <laughs> has actually purchased a little bit of land. Uh, now, the villagers over here are denying that that lo land belongs or can be sold at all. Nevertheless, he has paid in silver and he wants to graze his cattle there now. We've got two uh, guys in our troopers, in our troop, who want uh, to basically make that do. So let's talk about uh, things over here. Now there's a bandit base. Uh, we might want to deal with that soon. I'm going to briefly check out whether we can buy anything over here. We can buy a lot of iron ore, but we are no merchants, so we're not going to do that. We are instead going to Go ahead over here and, and get out of this and engage probably this party. So let's see what's going on over here. So, Vlandia peasant, don't get involved in this. We've graced our herds on these hillsides since our fathers fought this time. We don't care if one rich bastard gave a couple of bags of silver to another rich bastard. We don't care about title leads or courts of law or anything like that. Custom is custom and we're not going not going anywhere. So, we can say, uh, calm down, you're right, no one has the right to sell your ancestral lands. Uh, no, I don't think so, we are knight. So, you can take your grievances to your lord or to whoever sold the land. The law says a buyer has rights and you need to clear out. You're just a rich bastard's lackey. Okay, so... Yeah, we're not actually fighting you, that's great. So we are gaining some money over here, that's nice. Um, and that's okay. So let's talk to these people again. Now, our relation with you is pretty damaged, but let's talk to you anyway, because you've got a bandit problem, and we might be able to help you out on that one. So, yeah. I, I don't think uh, I know you. I think you do. Uh, my name is Brian. I lived here all my life. Yes, 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 we know. Um, so you've got a problem. There is no ruin, a place that offers a good view of the roads, and it is h yet hard to reach. Needless to say, it attracts bandits. A new gang has moved in, and they have been giving hell to the caravans and travellers passing by. So, you need someone to deal with them? Yes, and a bandit can easily spot and evade a large army moving against them. But if you can enter the hideout with a small group of determined warriors, you can catch them un unaware. Um, alternatively, another guy who would... So we need at least 10 good men, so of tier 2, we don't have that. So yeah, we're going to go there ourselves and, and see whether we can help you out in that regard. I mean, we've taken your lands, but we still want to help you out in the law. So there's a hideout over there. Okay, let's get over there then, see what, whether he can help you there. There's also a couple of sea raiders and various other people over here. You know, we might want to engage these looters here, if they are around, so we can basically train up our people. Also, there are a couple of sea raiders here. You know what? I hate sea raiders. I was once captured by sea raiders for a little while and uh, they did not do too well for us. So I definitely want to run over them. Now the other reason why we try to engage them over here is because these guys have slightly better equipment as you can see from these helmets on and so on. So uh, let's see whether we can deal with you guys. Now we're going to attack here because we have sufficient numerical superiority. Even though these guys are better equipped, I think we'll be doing much better than they are. Right, okay, the landscape here is a little bit barren. Bowman! Let's get our bowmen to move up a little bit. Move! So that you can actually start a fire there. You're just loosening up at us. That's alright if we... Okay, you're yeah. actually killing our people there, so... Let's have our footman charge. Oh, you actually did a lot of damage against me there. Just one javelin. Blending infantry killed one. You actually killed one of our footmen there. And a recruit. These guys are brutal. Where are you? You're over there. Okay, so you're being killed. Lovely. Well, nevertheless, we suffered five dead here. That is, that is a very, very high number of dead. Hmm. But we can actually uh, free up a peasant over here. Now, I'm not sure whether the peasant here would be... Can I actually promote you to anything? Watchman. Hmm. 
Why not? Let's try that. We've also got this footman who we can actually upgrade to an infantryman. So that I suppose is fine. But yeah, we've lost a good number of men over here. That's not great. But let's go ahead with this anyway. Um, and then we can look at all of the stuff that we've got over here because I think that's going to be great. Um, in fact, we might want to give at least the round shield here to you, my friend. And then this cleaver. Is it better than your sword? So the swing speed is much lower. The cut damage is much higher. The thrust speed is lower. The thrust damage is much... Yeah, the length is much better. You know what? You're going to get this weapon here. Yeah, it's a, it's a damn beast of a weapon there that you've got. Right, okay, let's give you sort of this equipment like that. I think that should be okay. And then how about this? Yeah, this is slightly better than what you're currently wearing. At least it does offer a little bit le more lack protection. So that's fine. And there's a scarf. You've got that already. So yeah, I suppose that's fine. And then this northern blade. Is it better or worse than what we are having? having? It seems to be a little bit worse, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially the length, which is a point once we are on horseback. Now, since you are couched anyway, we might actually give you that horse. So that you now ha actually have a lance there. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Let's look at the quests. Yeah, we know about that. Uh, let's look at the party then, because I would actually now like you here to be in group three. I can actually talk to you. Okay, fine. It's been a while. Um, about your position in the clan? Yes. Uh, no, never mind. I must leave now. Right, you're doing fine though. All right, everyone else is doing fine. You know what? We could get one of our guys here to one of these looters to join us as well. A couple of these guys, actually. You know what? Let's get three of these guys to join us, so that we are a little bit better positioned here. Let's take on these looters if we can. We seem to be extremely slow here. Three point seven against four point nine. Why are we so slow? 5.2. Okay. Yeah, it's just temporary while we're climbing up that slope, basically. Well, we are basically chasing them to this hideout anyway. So, let's stop over here and let's actually get into the hideout. Where is it? Oh, there. How many people in this hideout? 10 sea raiders. Well, that's not, that's not ideal. Well... Do we think we can deal with 10 Sea Raiders? Mr. Bloodaxe over here and myself, we are not really great in terms of our health situation. There is a city down here. Let's briefly visit the city, whether we can recruit... Oh, stop. Yeah, okay, we can at least overwhelm these guys. Surrender or die, click to continue. And you know what, we're going to simulate that battle. So let's just send in the troops, because I think that's a little bit easier. And we are gaining a lot of upgrades here. Fantastic. They're getting there too, but I think they're dying there. Oh, we also lost four wounded. That's not great. Uh, but still, upgrades are a very good thing. I like it. Hardened crossbowman, that's also nice to see. Um, shall we go for one more crossbowman over here? I think that's going to be fine. And let's check whether the hardened crossbowman's Yeah, You are indeed in formation two. That's perfectly fine. I like it. Yeah, but we've at least two wounded. Let's capture these guys here. We're getting some leather shoes. Is that better one that what you're wearing? Yeah, it is. And some robe. Okay, fine. Let's get into the city. You've got a job. Needs help with sea raiders. Now again, sea raiders aren't really what we can deal with perfectly fine. Maybe should not sell all of this. You know what, let's wait here for a while. And let's actually go to the tavern district, ransom our prisoners, and let's talk to you here. I don't know who you are. So what is it, stranger? I'm Brian, pass the wine, listen closely. My family had dad, so I joined the army. I guess I always like men's work more than women's work. Legions took hill women as scouts. But I was never the Heidi sneaky type. So I did what I had to be done in this beer line. Dressed as a man, of course. Wasn't too difficult. Fooled the man. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Now, I don't know too much about you, but I would like to have someone like you. I don't actually know how much money I've got right now, but you know what? We're going to welcome on board. We're going to have you, of course, why not? More companions is always, I think, very useful, especially as they don't cost money on an ongoing basis. Yeah, and we do have sufficient amount of, of money over here right now, so uh, let's actually check you out. I think we need to do that on the clan over here and see what you can do. You are an extremely good fighter. Especially with pole arms, but not exclusively. Basically with everything here. So we, yeah, basically we've got two very brawny types here. Okay, uh, let's look at our inventory then, see what we can give you. So you have got a weapon there. And that's an iron spotter. Which is much better than what we could give you. So that's alright. Um, you know what, let's uh, take the... Let's actually check. Are you good at... Are you a good horsewoman as well, I suppose? Yeah, you are. Okay, so in that case, let's go to inventory. Ah, not quest, inventory. Come on. Right, so we're going to take the horse and the light lance away from you. So you're just basically a ground fighter now, but that's fine. Um, and you're going to get the lance. And keep the sword, and you're going to get the horse. So that's fine. Yeah, I like it. And then we can back to go back to the town center and we can trade away this sword here. Gonna get a bit of money for that, so that's perfectly fine. Good, I like it. Right, so then where does that leave us in terms of our party? There's just one wounded and you guys are actually doing fine over here. So in that case, I think we might want to go ahead. Okay, let's talk about you. You are a merchant, you need help with some sea raiders. Sea Raiders are enormously difficult to deal with. But they do have good equipment and we do need good equipment as well. And we need to upgrade our troops. And we do have some money uh, to actually help you out. So a lot of men from around here are turning brigands in these troubled times. They infest the hills. None of these is safe. Yes, yeah, the way to prevent that. If someone hands down a few, let's say two group of Sea Raiders and the Lord and the words get around, theory would not be seeming so lucrative. Okay. One of my companions and eight men. No, no, no. We are going to hunt down two groups. For reward of a little bit of gold, it's not much, but I think it is going to be very lucrative. So, let's see. And we can be a little bit more selective, I think. Or can we? Well, we don't know. Okay, let's firstly leave. And see what we have got over here. So we've got this hideout over the, off the Sea Raiders. So there should be typically a couple of groups around. So we're going to try to first find the groups. There we go. Ooh. These are very few men. Is that just two? Yeah, that's just six group. That's just six guys. I think six guys we can deal with easily. You'll never take us alive. Okay, that's that's perfectly all right there. And that's attack. Okay, so that seems all right. Archers, forward! Let's send the archers forward a little bit. They're not going to engage. Footmen! Charge! Okay, let's send out. Let's send in, send in our guys. Let's keep the shield up over here and let's run around them to distract them a little bit. Okay, at least one guy is distracted over here, so that's fine. Let's try to run away from him. At least we've killed one sea raid over there already. And I'm wondering, is the second group? Is that all of them, or is the second group a little bit behind them? No, nope, it seems like that was it. Very lovely. Good result there. One promotion, six dead. Uh, six kills, one wounded on their side. Lovely. And especially the upgrade is very nice. Right, we are going to take you prisoner. Because I can ransom you off. And we are going to grab all of this stuff. Of course. 
And that should deal with our quest as well. Um, let's actually look at our party first. So the Batavian volunteer here. We could go to a wood runner or clan warrior. Now I think you guys are actually very good at fighting. Okay, you're skirmisher. Let's put you into formation number two. That's all right. Good. Yeah, I like it. Um, and then in terms of our inventory, yeah, let's apply these changes. In terms of our inventory, let's see whether we can give you better stuff over here. Yeah, let's give you a hat at least. Uh, you are wearing a scarf already. You could get this leather vest, and that would be slightly better than what you're currently wearing. So let's do that. Now this here is actually giving you yet better armor. So yeah, I'm, I think you would be better off doing this. Lack and arm armor is slightly worse, but that's alright. And then we've got an axe over here. Might as well give you that as sort of a backup weapon. Yeah, that's fine. Let's say Don over there. Let's get out to our party. Again, just to make sure that we are actually allocating you correctly. So you are in group 3. Anyone else in group 3? 2, 1. 2, 1. 1, 1. You know what? You can actually be one as well. Blondian infantry, peasant. Um, what are you guys actually doing? Yeah, you should be one as well. Arm crossbow men, you're two. Perfect, perfect. I like it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. I um, mean, I think we've done the quest. So we have finally rebuilt our clan. Yes, very nice. Um, not sure what that does for us, but I think it does give us some benefit there. Um, and we have dealt with these troops, right? Yeah. He's actually sent us the gold as promised. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Very nice. So what does that mean for our clan specifically? Um, it does mean we are now a clan tier 1. Which means companion limit... We don't know what our clan limit is, uh, companion limit is actually, so it's not quite sure what we're doing with that. Anything else over here? Well, we're not doing a lot ourselves, so we're mostly using our troops to fight force, uh, and I actually think that that is uh, a very decent choice there. And let's attack the hideout over here. We do need to fight at nightfall, which I hate, uh, because the game just doesn't do a very good job at night lighting. So nevertheless, let's attack over here. And see whether we can deal with these guys. Yeah, well, all right. Okay, so we we going straight to the boss fight over here. Well, I'm not gonna fight you on a one-on-one -on -one basis because again, I'm just not very good at fighting. So we're gonna lure you into there, and that's all right. We've lost a recruit over there. All right. Well, that was easy. Victory, one promotion, one lost, but that's okay. It was just a recruit, I think, so all in all that should be a very nice uh, way. Ooh, and we actually did get the chief over there. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, and this recruit over here, um, I'm guessing you can actually go to footman style. Nice. And we've got this chief over here. It would be lovely if we could recruit you. I don't know what you'd be, uh, what would be your your position, but it's fine. Good. I like it, and we are getting a lot of good stuff over here. And uh, northern leather leather west. Um, is that actually better than what any of you are wearing? It's not. Neither are these shoes. Well, I've got a couple of throwing axes here. You know what? Let's get the throwing axes to you, so that you are. Potentially sending them off into the enemy direction before we can get um, any chance. Right. Uh, let's check our quest lock. Do we need to get home? No. We just dealt with these guys and we do get the money. And we are pretty rich now, actually. So that is fantastic to see. Good. Let's actually see whether we can buy something from our newfound uh, weaponry over here. Right. So, yeah, let's trade. So, firstly, uh, sell off the stuff that we don't need. Like all of this. And then see whether we've got anything over here. So 
We have got a couple of swords. Ooh, this would be a fine sword. Length is just about the same as we currently have. Thrust speed is a little bit lower. Yeah, well, the damage is much higher. But it's a very expensive sword. Oh, very, very nice axes over here. But we're not really an axe guy. Some better shields. Uh, none of these things are very useful for us. But maybe some... Headgear? Now this is worse than what we're currently wearing. This is better, but it's also stupendously expensive. Yeah, neither neither is there any good, like, body armor. I really love a little bit of better body armor. Imperial riding harness? No, that's not better than what we currently have. On the other hand, we are not getting any of this stuff. So we might actually want to buy one. So that we can put it onto this horse here. Yeah, I think that's fine. This would be much better than what we're currently wearing, but do I want to really spend that? Body armor increase. You know what? Let's do that. Can sell off the scarf instead. And is there any, like, cheap piece of headgear that we could give you. Padded coif, that's not actually that expensive. Yeah, since you're a footman, let's give you that. I think that's alright. And then we can sell this off, of course. Yeah, and all of the other stuff I don't think is that valuable for us right now. So all in all, that looks fine. I mean, you might want to get a shield. Kite shield. Is that actually better than the one that we are personally wearing? Stutterbound Kite Shield. Well, it's high in value. It's slightly more weighty. It's not quite as speedy. but it, and No, it's speedier, but it does have less hit points. But I think it's fine. It does give a very nice coverage out of our... Um, of our legs as well. So I think a kite shield is perfectly alright for us. As a horseman. It actually looks a little bit nice as well. Okay. Yeah, looks good to me. Do we have enough foodstuffs? Could go with a little bit of beer. We do have some money here. Some meat maybe. I don't think oil is appropriate. But yeah, all of the other stuff is fine. Good. Let's leave. Let's get over to this village over here. Um, do we actually have more men in our party than we can support? Yeah, we can actually support a lot more guys now. So that's super useful. Uh, although that will slow us down as well, I think. Okay, let's recruit some troops. Yeah, let's recruit all of them. Uh, can we buy products? Yeah, a little bit of fish isn't, isn't too bad. Right, let's get over here then. Or actually to this village, because I don't think we've been there before. A couple of looters there. Oh, probably we don't, we can't catch them, I think. Can we recruit troops? Yeah, let's recruit them. And let's leave. Okay, let's try to, let's leave. Let's try to overwhelm these guys here. They will try to run away, but what can we do? Just sometimes you need to catch up to them. And we're only going to send in our troops. We're not going to deal with this personally. Right, surrender or die? Yes. It's always a little bit annoying that there are a couple of loading screens in between here. Uh, but let's send in our troops. Yeah, seven promotions there. It's just, I think, more promotions if you do it this way. And um, let's grab these looters. And one of these looters can actually be promoted, but we can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's go for one more crossbowman here. Then you can go for this. And you guys can go to footmans. That's nice. Looter, you can't be promoted. You can either be promoted to, like, cavalry. We would need a horse for that. Um, auto swordsman. I think a swordsman is fine. Um, you don't necessarily look like a swordsman, though. Yeah, but you're looking fine, though. 
Whitman over here, the Wanderer. Hardened crossbowmen. There's still this peasant. Infantry, yeah, you can't be promoted, but that's alright. We could recruit one of you. Okay, let's recruit you because I want to know what you would be what you would be becoming. Sea Waiter Warriors and Sturgeon Soldier. Fine, I'm gonna live with that. And then we've got a bit of stuff over here. Mm, it's mostly low value stuff. But we can, of course, sell it at some point. Right, let's get into the village. There seem to be a couple of peasants about over there. Um, could recruit some troops. Recruit them all. And leave. Fine. Next village. More looters over there. Aha! Squire! Oh, look at that. We can actually gain some knowledge about these guys there. So you're good at one-handed pole arms, bows, riding, athletics. You're kind of expensive, but I'm going to go with that. And actually, let's have a look at our party here, because I want to know how you... You're in group number three. I think that does make some sense. Basically, cavalry, guys. Yeah, I like it. Good. Let's leave. And I think let's go to that city down there. Lots of caravans and um, recruit troops. And let's leave. Let's basically get down here again. There are a couple of looters there. We're going to try to grab them. Again, they're much faster than we are, but I think if we are patient enough, we are going to run them down. There we go. And again, because I think that does... Um, give us more promotions, I think I'm gonna send in my troops basically without my orders. Okay, nine wounded, but seven promotions there. I like it. Let's get rid of these guys, or uh, capture them actually. Yeah, that doesn't look too great here, but that's fine. Uh, mostly I do want to promote my guys simply. So let's see what we've got over here. So more recruits, uh, we're gonna send you towards the footman path. The light crossbowmen, you can go to the better crossbowmen. Um, you can take to the infantry or spearmen. You know what, let's actually take two spearmen over here because we don't have these yet. And then we've got the swordsman. So you can go to sergeant, that's expensive, but you know, man, this is, this is looking great. I like it. And then we've got this warrior over here, perfect. So it's a little bit of a miss and match uh, of, of all of these people. But yeah, the sergeant over here. You're looking fine, my friend. You're looking great. I would love to see your stats, though, at, at, if I could. But I don't think I can. Then we've got proper warriors over here. I mean, you've got a couple of... I mean, you have a sword, right? Yeah. Spearmans. What would be your promotion path? Billman. Fine. Okay, I like it. I mean, even you guys. I mean, you do have some sort of mace over there. Got these squires. Woodrunner. Skirmisher or Raider. Very hard to say. I don't really know you. Hardened crossbowman. Sharpshooter. Got these peasants. You could go to Watchmen. So I think you'll be sort of Billman as well. And then more footmen over here. Yeah, we are starting to see less and less recruits. It's more and more proper infantry over here. Currently at 19 guys, but that's mostly because we have some guys who are uh, just a little bit shy on, uh, or who will be wounded, uh, or who are wounded, and, and we'll be treating you. There you go, so you'll come online as well. There's something about our party here? Uh, probably because we can, we can recruit you here. Well, I want to find out who you are and what you're dealing with. So yeah, I think that's that's perfectly fine. We are indeed going to recruit you. And then I want to find out what you could do. Sergeant and the, she is the Raider Chief. Okay. Well, interesting. That's an interesting path that, of promotion there. Right. Let's trade. Sell all of this stuff. 
perfectly fine. Oh, and then we can think about our swords here. Now, there are some fine swords here. Ooh, cleaver. Tip-ringed arming sword. Ooh, this is, this is the really valuable stuff here. Some of these things, at the very least. A short spear. Better kites. Kite spears. Uh, kite. Shields. Wicker square shield. Lots and lots of shields, actually. Yeah, and some food stuff. We have mostly fine on food stuffs. Any better armor, though? Just proper armor. Well, some better gloves, I think, would be fantastic, actually. So let's use these. That's not looking too bad. And you guys have armrests. You don't actually have anything, so we're going to give those to you, and I think that's fine. Paddle leather shirts, that what you're basically wearing. Would we have better horse armor? We would. Oh, well, we do have the money, I think. Let's go ahead and use these. And you can use that. Can you? That's probably better than what you currently have. Yeah. That's fine. We're going to keep that around because at some point we might want to buy another horse as well. And speaking of... No, there are no horses here. None at all? Huh, interesting. Okay, fine. Still, I think that's okay. Okay, yeah, starting to look a little bit more like a man-at-arms. At least like an early, early medieval age. So, uh, let's actually have a look at the tavern district. So, there is someone over here. Uh, choose the prisoners to be ransomed. Thirty dinars for these guys. That's fine. Um, and then let's talk to you here. So we could get another girl over here to join us. So what's your deal? You were born with a birthmark in the shape of an eye. Whatever I pass my neighbors in the street, they made a sign of the protector. So you are a witch, aren't you? Eventually he demanded my father to drive me out of the village, but I was the fourth of the girls, so it was no great loss for him to comply. Okay, great. Probably saved him worry over where I was going to find the marry money to marry me off. Screamed and wept, but that was no consequences. I wandered the village begging and stealing. You may imagine how I felt at the mercy of the robbers on the road who had no more fear of the evil eye than they did of man's laws. But eventually I learned to protect myself and the body of one careless bandit afforded me with my first sword. So, sad tale, please continue. That's all there is. I still have the sword and it is for hire. Now, honestly, you're a little bit more of a roguelike company uh, guy, so I don't think you are a good fit for us here. Um, we, we would li actually like a healer or something instead of, you know, a roguelike person. Um, not necessarily another fighter because we've got three of these guys already. You know, we're going to sell off the prisoner here as well. And that's fine. And we're going to leave the town. And we're going to leave it for this episode. So next time around, we are going to wander a little bit around here. See what what and who we find. Uh, and uh, whether there's any, in any interesting factors. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.